Hey everyone, let's do rank 1 again in Clash of Wills. I already did rank 1 as you can see. Um, I used the same strat, just different action order as did Sinsar, but since I am not a fan of just copying someone else's video. Now truth be told, I got to the same conclusion using Louise over Carton, but Sinsar is in America, I went to sleep, he kept going, or he could keep going, he ended up going first with his video, so I was like, hmm, now what? And so uh, I fiddled around a lot with another strat. Now some of you were hoping that it wouldn't be Sky, or including Sky, but sadly she has to be on the team because she will carry this fight. So this is the team we'll be using. I replaced Ling with Tiana just to bring my own spin onto this. And as you might know from last month, I am actually a fan of Tiana. I liked using her. So I tried and it worked um, making her. I tried making her work in this fight. It does work. It's a pretty cool strat. So this is what we'll be going for. Now I also have my turn chart ready. So if I don't narrate all too much, please excuse me for that. Um, my voice is a little bit low. I've been talking a lot today because I recorded many, many failed attempts of this boss trying to defeat it without Shao. It's not possible. I wasted 200 Lapis, I wasted about 6 hours today trying to figure out a way to cap this fight or even defeat this fight um, with mods. I even didn't bring the attack mods, I had everything but attack mods on and Maeve just still wasn't cutting it. I wasn't able to get to 200% morale um, by turn 5, it's just not feasible. Um, it. It is feasible to get to 200% morale by turn 6 or 7. However, you won't be capping damage. That is the issue. So maybe someone smarter than me will figure out a way without Chao. I don't think it's possible at this point. But anyway, let's do this clear. I've did this clear off the stream or off, off screen, off stream three times in a row, so let's hope it works a fourth time too. All right, so guard the kind protector focused. Tiana is going to trouble, nutritious, rainbow, revit, uh, arcane stimulant, triple hotshot, geez, Louise is using Earthbreaker and Sky Limits, because the sky is the limit. Okay. Perfect. So I did not forget anything for this first turn. I did not perfect. So here comes Chao's endless counter-attacking spree. All right. By the way, my Maeve comp was like Maeve, uh, Kresnik, Bulwark, Ling, Lara. Maeve, Bulwark, Kresnik, Ling. Lara, who on the team? I don't know even anymore. Oh, Elena was also on the team, yeah, right. Elena also was on the team. And that yielded 190 morale on turn 5, by the way, so... I had pretty much all the morale units and it still didn't work out. That's how bad it is. So, true, most loyal and encouraging. Uh, Tiana, Quince, Irrescendent, Sky, Flame, Nutritious, Water, and Earthy. 
Kresnik. Oops, wrong ability. Imbue. Lara Calamities. Right, right. For the light stuff. Lara. Not Lara. Louise, the other person with an L. Neutralizing, disarming, ionic. Sky limit. Okay. And the cool thing about this strat is that we don't even need 200% morale on turn 5 to cap this. Okay. Here it comes. Chow going ham. That's pretty low morale though, not gonna lie. I've seen better. Oh well, I guess. As long as we're at 195 or better by turn 5, we'll be fine. Alright, Shao is going to guard kind and see. Guard kind and guardians flame on Tia uh, Sky. Tiana shifts and powers up her fire stuff. Come on. Quintuple, unstable fire, Kresnik, antioxidant, Lara, the explosive. Oh, I don't need so triple hot shot. Louise goes back to base. Uh, fire starter, arsenal, power, tactical. This guy goes back to base and sharp spear, double battering, and yeah. Okay. More than 70, looks good. Now we cost Charles resisting so much we won't recover that much morale, but it's going to be fine regardless. He still does what he can. Okay. So Sky is imbuing herself with fire. Lara is also imbuing herself with fire and hotshot. Louise is going to incapacitate heavy firepower and double ionic. Tiana is going to quintuple fire again. Kresnik is going to medical supplement and remedy. Now, if only I could see how much morale we have. Um, that looks like we have enough. Um, question is, do I want to take the risk and brave shift Chao? Because brave shifting Chao here is a huge risk. He can die. Um, 
I'm just gonna take the risk, I guess, and see what happens. Maybe I'm lucky. Who knows? Please don't die, Chow. Please don't die. Looking good. Oh yeah, he can't die. I forgot. Right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, here we are. Let's get our buffs. We're shifting Lara. We're shifting Louise. Uh, quad disarming. Sky brave shift. Cresnik blue wave. Tiana. Quintuples fire four times and fantastic formula. Reason is we need to perfectly chain. There's no other way. And Chow limits. Okay. And this should cap the fight. Um Yeah, gonna start with Chow. And set. Three billion, not even close. All right. Let's give us a buff. Fire starter, neutralizing, disarming, neutralizing. Uh, disarming and ionic, that's what I was supposed to say. And we'll fill the rest of the LB. And we are going to pretty much repeat um, Triple Unstable and Trouble Brewing. And yeah, this should hopefully defeat the boss. I've never tried it like this. Usually I would go to turn 7 and it would get super messy, but we will see what happens. Um, so we're starting Chow first. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, that's the end of us. Or not. Huh. Okay. <laughs> that was super messy. <laughs> Um, I usually am not that ballsy when it comes to these fights. Um, on my turn chart, I actually had Shao go back to base and just cover all of this. It worked out. It worked out. So, Sky just... Let's close this out. Sky shift... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Just hot shot three times. Um, boss is still gun imperiled, so that's fine. Triple bolting strike and nano. And we'll do DLB buffer sky, I suppose. Wait, Sky actually has her LB on, on her own, so... I'm just hoping that I can fill Lara's LB to full. Nope. 
I catch. It's fine, let's just go. And there it is. Did not have to be that conservative. That was a lot messier than it was supposed to be. Maybe that was just bad variance on Lara's end and Sky's end, who knows. But it should not have been that close on turn um, six. Nonetheless, perfect score, we did it. Um, oh, Lara actually dealt more damage than Sky for once. Not too shabby. Chao also doing some heavy lifting here. So yeah, there we go. Perfect score. And I'm also done with farming, apparently. That's nice. Okay, so let's check out the team. Uh, let me just activate all modifiers so nobody gets confused. All right, ciao. Is using lots of heavy gearing. Um, as you can see, he was a little bit low on lightning, but that's fine. For the first five turns, we had the 150% lightning resistance buff from Tiana, which is superbly and immensely helpful. The, the Tiana buffs, they are just crazy strong. So this is the gear he's using. I sadly don't have the passive provoke one, but it's fine. I don't. You don't need it at all, as you can see. Had no, nothing here. I'm always active provoking. Um, what's important is this Cypher's Code Disciplined, uh, which is an event item, as you can see. Super, super important for the counter activation rate. Blizzard Orb is also super, super important. Um, yeah, other than that, Looming Wrath, third important piece. It's on STMR to activate the true single wield stuff and the own vision card. DPS gear, looking like this. So he went almost full DPS. Um, I gave him just very few um, resistance stuff over here with cool beauty. Other than that, I actually went full ham as best as possible. So he's got a lot of bulk, 8,347 spirit, lots of bulk. Yeah, he did the heavy lifting too. Uh, Tiana, conductor's button in base, uh, lots of resistance. Um, everyone on the team but Chao is full evasion in base form, by the way. 100% evasion, everybody but Chao needs it. So that's not that easy to do, right? Other than that, um, the team for the most part needs at least 90-ish percent fire, earth, um, yeah, fire and earth. And um, regarding dark and lightning, it's kind of whatever because we're getting 100% light uh, dark from Chao, if I'm not totally mistaken, from the encouraging fire buff, or it's 80. But we're also getting 150% lightning for the first five turns, mind you, from Tiana, which is super crazy strong. Again, the Brave Shift, it suffered a lot in terms of gearing, as you can see. Lots of resistances here, meaning I cannot wear for the life of me double. Now, ideally, I would have loved to use, um, no, not this one, uh, the Spirit Killer accessory from uh, Faisalus. This one cannot make it. It just doesn't fit with all the resistances needed on Tiana. So this is the gearing and she didn't do much damage as you've seen. She was basically just support chaining. So she has 100 beast killer and 50 fairy killer. That's uh, totally negligible, honestly. She even used um, Yigni's vision card, but it was for nothing. <laughs> basically all she did was support chaining, providing some resistances and that's it. Pretty much that's all, all she did. Uh, next up, Kresnik, also full evasion, necessary resistances on blue wave, here the combat style for max LB felling. And yeah, Brave Shift identically geared here with counter dog just to fill some more LB. And that is it, yeah. 110 evasion, these are the resistances, lots of um, lightning and dark for the dot, but 
that was way overkill as you can or as you've seen and 100 fire and or more than 90 percent fire and earth lara same deal she has really really a lot of uh, resistances as you can see but this is the gear lock stagger and next dagger next dagger allows us to just not imbue her in the base form and just get rid of the um, or get rid of the uh, human mitigation on turn one and then that full evasion two is on calamity border which is nice so she has all the necessary stuff in brave shift typical dps gearing as you can see nothing too fancy honestly she's at 300 beast 300 fairy yep looking good next up is louise she's on earthbreaker so you technically really need tulian for this otherwise you're gonna have a bad time with the magic attacks of the boss and i kind of wanted the 85 percent breaks and luckily louise is a debuffer in base so this is the base gearing also full evasion has um, a lot of resistances a little bit low on earth but that's fine the boss doesn't do any earth attacks until turn seven if i'm not totally mistaken so you could technically totally not do any earth and just focus on fire lightning and dark that's also fine i, I believe not quite sure don't don't um call me back on that <laughs> but i believe earth can be neglected and the brave shift full dps as far as i can see oh yeah she has our airbus boon which was important as you've seen 300 beast 300, 300 fairy some good stuff i also bought reclaimed serenity by the way from the shop and own vision card all right, next up, or lastly, Sky. Uh, Sky, very important Craftsman secret book. She has nobody to imbue her with fire, so she does need to do this herself at the expense of Tyva's STMR, sadly. This is the, well, concession you have to make if you don't use Leng, but that's fine. She still carried this fight with Lara and, well, ciao. These are the abilities. She's using Tifa's vision card. And yeah, this is the Brave Shift, the standard gear. Um, very important. Uh, she needs two different sources of guts. So Lucid Lens is in here. And um, oh yeah, Midsummer Bodo in the base form. Otherwise, she would have been dead on the final turn. And that would have been no bueno. And here's the abilities. So Sky sits at 300 Beast and Fairy 2 and 280 LB. Looking good. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So another way to perfect score this fight if you are lacking, for example, if your Kresnik is only EX plus 1, but you have EX plus 3 uh, Tiana, it's another way to do this fight, right? All right, so yeah, I hope this was helpful and uh, you enjoyed this one as well. I know it got a little bit messy on turn 6, even though it shouldn't be. I apologize for that, but it's fine in the end. So for to tomorrow, Sunday that is, if you're watching this at a later date, I will take a day off. It was super, super stressful today. I think I wasted about 10 hours on this uh, just to A, try out comms without Chow and trying to make Maeve work. And now this, so... I'm gonna take a day off, relax a little bit, and maybe do some more videos on Clash on Monday, Tuesday. We'll see. But for now, this is it. Thank you all for watching. See you later.